I'm Jewish. Yes. And I'm proud. Yes. And I won't be Christian. I know you've been through hard times, yeah? Yeah. I can feel it. Some of Jesus' most famous teachings. Love your enemy. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do unto others as they, you would have them do unto you. Thanks. God bless you. I think we're going to get some cool answers from this guy. Yeah. What do you think Jewish people think about Jesus? Yeah, I don't really know. It's a tough question. Do you know anything about him? No. His past, like what he came to do? No. No? no. But it's Jesus, and I'm Jewish. Jesus was Jewish? Yeah, I know. So you think, you think that Jesus got separated from Judaism, like from the Jewish people? Or to believe in Jesus is not Jewish? To believe in Jesus is not Jewish. Yeah, according to what kind of Judaism? To the Torah, I think. To the Torah, you mean the Talmud? Or the Tanakh? The Tanakh. The Tanakh, no, it's, it's very in alignment with the Tanakh. The prophecies of the Tanakh point to the Messiah coming, and Jesus was fulfilling prophecies of the Messiah. Some believed him, and some went and followed him, and some did not. And some killed him. That's right. That's, <laughs> but he gave his own life. He, he said, nobody takes my life from me, I give it myself. And why would he do that? Because he had a mission, a purpose for, for coming here, God in the flesh, to come here and take upon himself our debt, what we owe. So, so if, let's say you owe me'alef shkalim. Aye. And someone comes, you don't even know the person, and says, you know what? I know that you've been, had this burden on you for so long. I'm going to take it from you and pay it. You're free to go. How would you feel? That's what he came to do. That's what he came to do. Yeah, okay, okay. But what's the point of this? The point of what? Of this. What, this Interview, conversation? Yeah, yeah. Ah, to introduce you to Jesus, to see what you know about Him, what you feel about Him, and to introduce you, to give you a perspective that maybe you haven't heard yet. Listen, I'm Jewish. Yes. And I'm proud. Yes. And I won't be Christian. Yeah. I'm Jewish too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I just believe that Jesus was the Jewish Messiah. Uh... Based on the Tanakh based on the scripture and the, and the prophecy. And you're free to disagree. I disagree. You're free to argue uh, with me. I, of course. I'm not a religious guy. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not with that. I just have my own way. Right. And I do stick with this. Do you believe God exists? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Because uh, what have you done for me? Except of uh, giving me birth. He gave you the sunlight, He gave you yeah. friends, He gave you love, He gave you... I know you've been through hard times, yeah? Yeah. I can feel it, you know? And I'm sorry. For sure. And it's horrible. I don't know what you've been through. But it's a lot, huh? That's life, you know? And life's hard, isn't it? But what hope do you have in your future? Uh, music gives me hope. Yeah? Yeah. I and what do you music. play? I uh, play guitar, uh, piano, I rap, you know. Amazing. If your hand is breaking, broken or removed, what are you going to do? Keep going. Yeah. I still have my voice. Yeah. I still have my brain. Right. Right. I still have my soul. And these things are taken away from us over time. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to bring you down. I'm just saying that, that if we put our hope in the, in the things of the world, at some point we're going to be disappointed because we have to let them go. You're a young man. I'm 21. I'm 52, right? You have your whole life ahead of you, God willing. You know what I mean? And when you're young, and I'm not, it's easier to think I have tomorrow and the next day, but when you get older like me, it's like, wait a second, I don't feel as good as I used to. I don't look as good as I used to. Something's changing in me. There's things in my life that are disappearing. People are dying in my life. And, and these things change my perspective to focus on what's really important. You know in the book of Kohelet? No. Melech Shlomo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The richest, wisest man in history? He said, Kol ma shanachnu mechapsim b'chaim ha'ele ze hevel hevalim. Hevel hevalim. Yes, you look for it, you grab it, you finally get it, and then it goes away. What's really important is God. That's the most important, the most, the most wise and rich. What's really important is you. Yes. What you doing when you wake up in the morning? Okay, okay, but I and I agree with you that it's important. 
But what happens if I make the wrong choice? What happens if I go and I abuse a child or I kill someone or I murder someone? Then you have to start getting into like a reality that's outside of you. Is it right? Is it wrong? We all gone if if God exists and uh, heaven and hell. And we all going through hell, and then after we uh, do the the things in uh, hell and uh, how do I say it? Uh huh. Atoning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of our actions, and then we, when we clean, yeah. then we go into heaven. And where did you that, learn that? From the rabbi. Because it's not in the Tanakh. From the rabbi. Often. And why do you trust him to tell you instead of looking for yourself? Achi, I love you. I love you too. Ve'ekpati mimcha. So. You seem like you have a great smile. You seem like a good, a good person on the inside. And we're, the only reason we're out here is because we love people. Yeah. Love and you we, too, man. And we want to, we want to, we want to introduce you to our best friend Yeshua, yeah, who was sure. Jewish, and he came because he loves you so much. He loves you. I love myself too. And you should, you should. But we should understand that we, that if God exists, and we've broken His commandments, somebody has to pay. Someone does. Someone. And God says, I don't want you to have to pay because to, for you to pay, that means we're going to be disconnected forever. Forever. But I want you with me forever. So I'm going to send my son, who comes as a Jewish man, Yeshua, to die for our sins. And by putting our faith in Him, we have everlasting life, forgiveness of sins. And God gives us a new spirit and new heart and new desires to do the right thing. To live a life full of love and sacrifice. Jesus says, Jesus says there's no better love, no greater love than to sacrifice your life for your friend. No greater love. And, and He right. did that for you, but not only for you, for His enemies as well at the same time. Tough. So I just wanted to share that with you, bro. So. What's your name again, you said? Kovu. Kovu. Yes, sir. Have you ever read the New Testament? Brit Hadashah, Beivrit or Anglit? No. You want one? Just to look through it, give just me. to see. Give me, give Which me. one, Hebrew or English? Whatever. Whatever? Yeah. Ivrit, what am I doing? Ivrit? Ata Israeli. I rather practice on my English. Give me one in English. This is English? Give me. And the blue papers are just for like, uh, we marked some of Jesus' most famous teachings. Mm -hmm. Love your enemy, love your neighbor as yourself. Do unto others as they, you would have them do unto you. And you know what he also says? Trust me. Trust me, I won't let you down. Kovu, I love you, bro. Thanks. Again. God bless you, man. Have a God nice bless. day. All right, you too, man. Thank All you. Right. Yo, my album coming soon. Oh, Rasta yeah. 47. Big on the way. Yeah, much love to all the people across the world. Yeah, South TLV. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Kovu, God bless you, man.